today I'm going to be filming this look right here for you. It's a kind of fun festival, golden kind of vibes. I figured that since Coachella's passed, I got heaps of inspiration from that. I know you can't really use it for Coachella now, but there are heaps of festivals coming up in Australia very soon. Groove in the Moo, Splendour, which isn't really for a while, but still, this is kind of festival vibes. We've got stars underneath the eyes and just a little bit of bling and something really fun to create. If you wanted to see how I created this look, please keep watching. I'm going to start prepping my eyes. I'm going to do my eyes first today just because it's going to be a really heavy look. So if there is any fallout, it doesn't really matter. I can just like wipe that away with the foundation when I put it on. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my MAC Studio Fix Plus in the shade NC15 and my NYX Stay Matte But Not Fat Liquid Foundation. I'm just going to be mixing the two because I am tanned today, so I need it a little bit darker. Alrighty, so once that's on, I'm going to go... Oh my god, look at that. Anyway, so once that's on... <laughs> Alright, so once that's on, I'm going to go and set it with my Studio Fix powder. Just dabbing it on. That looks so... that looks shocking. Now we can get started with the eyeshadow. Now to start us off, I'm going to be taking my Modern Renaissance palette, as per usual. And I'm going to be taking Raw Sienna, this one here. And I'm just going to be applying that all through the crease as my transition colour. So once that's done, using my Coco Blend palette, I'm going to go through and do the exact same thing, but this time I'm going to be taking a freshly toasted. So to deepen that up a little bit more, I'm going to be taking a different brush and just using this end just to go through the bottom of the crease, like so. I'm then going to go back to my Modern Renaissance palette and take Cypress Umbra, this colour here, and just do the exact same thing, just lining up the bottom here to deepen the crease. So once that's finished, I'm then going to clean it up for a little bit of direction just using my foundation. I'm just going to be taking a small brush and dipping that in like so. Once I'm happy with the defined crease, I'm then going to go take a flat brush and the colour Bitter Start from the Cocoa Blend palette and just pat that on nicely just to set it. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. So I'm just going to be taking a really small brush and also taking a freshly toasted and then just redefining it at the bottom of the crease. After taking freshly toasted and redefining the crease, I'm also going to then take Cypress Umbra again and just do the exact same thing but at the very very bottom just to deepen it up a little bit more. So once I'm happy with how much I've defined the crease, I'm then going to take 
the colour Magic Act from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to be putting that on a flat brush and patting that over onto the lid. Once that's done, I'm going to be doing my eyeliner. I'm going to be taking my MAC Paint Pot in Black Track and my 210 MAC brush and just make sure that my eyeliner wing reaches all the way up to here to meet the eyeshadow. Once that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Full Lash Blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. I'm probably going to do this off camera. I'm really bad at it. This is like the fifth time I've tried to do it. But um, yeah, we'll wish us luck. <laughs> oh my god, I did it. And they look good. Shit. So I've finished with the eyes now. I'm going to go ahead and do the face. So like I did with my eyes, I'm going to be mixing the two foundations together. Just because I am a little bit tan. This is my tan foundation. This is my normal foundation. I'm just going to mix the two because this one's a little bit too dark. And this one's way too light. I think it's just wishful thinking here right now. I'm just going to be applying that all over my face like so. Just putting dots everywhere and then I'm going to blend it through with my beauty blender. Sorry, I just have to move the mirror there so I can see what I'm actually doing. I'm just going to be using my beauty blender and blending that all out. So once that's blended all over my face, I'm then going to take my Anastasia contour kit. This has seen its absolute day. It's red. I don't really use the contour colours, but I do use the highlighting colours quite a lot, as you can see. It is a godsend, and I will be getting more when I can afford it. And I'm going to be highlighting my T-zone and my chin. So once I've concealed everything, I'm just going to blend that all through. So once that's all blended through, I'm then taking my Laura Mercier powder. I don't think I've used this in a video yet. I bought it probably a few weeks ago and it is the most amazing powder I've ever used in my whole life. Today I'm just going to be using this powder, my bad, and setting all these areas that I've just concealed. Once that's done, I'm going to now contour my face. Once that's all contoured and nice, I'm going to bronze up my face using my MAC bronzing powder. Just taking this big fluffy brush and, you know, doing whatever. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera just because they're a massive pain at the moment. I haven't had them waxed or anything like that in like two months. Okay, so I finished with my brows and they filled in pretty nicely today, which is really nice. So thank you, everybody. And to finish off my eyes, I'm just going to go back to the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be taking raw sienna and putting that underneath my eye. And then I'm going to be, then I'm going to be doing the same thing with Cypress Umbra, just ch chucking that underneath my eye. So once I'm happy with this, I'm going to just chuck some mascara onto my bottom lashes.
So once I finish that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Laura Mercier Highlighter in Addiction. Once I finish with the look, to add something fun, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some stars underneath my eyes. Probably just one each, just for something cute and a bit festively. Festively. Is that a word? Probably not. I've got golden stars all over my desk, but that is okay because we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply lipstick now. God knows what lipstick I'm gonna use. Alright, so here we have the final look. I did end up getting those stars on really nicely, which I'm happy about, and the lashes. It's just a fun cut crease kind of festival look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you do end up trying this look out, please tag me in your photos or send me them. I love seeing people trying out my looks. I've had a few people do it and it makes me feel really good. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. It means the world. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.